what's up guys this is the poutine doctor here uh coming to play some europa, Univer some europa universalis for with you uh today i decided to start a playthrough as playing in denmark uh which carries a personal union over norway and sweden also holstein which you know no one really cares about you know they're, they're almost useless uh i'm choosing denmark today because I've never played them before and uh let's just you know let's just jump right into it and see what happens you can check out the DLC I'm using in the description below. Uh, I, can't, I can't recall which I'm using, but I'll, I'll have it posted for after. Let's just right into it. We're going to play an Iron Man game, you know, because we want to earn achievements. I'm not logged into my leaderboard, but that's, that's okay. I don't need to earn leaderboard score. Uh, the game also want to look here. I usually name all my game saves just random names for gibberish because I'm I'm that lazy. I start a lot of games. Uh, we're gonna name it Denmark. Save. Now I have played as Norway before. In that game, I uh, declared independence with Sweden against Denmark right away and just hopped uh, the Atlantic over to North America, colonized there and ruled North America, but. Uh, we're going to play as the Oppressors Denmark, yes, and see if we can uh, form Scandinavia. Seems like a pretty pretty useful goal. I'm going to start off with 10 Danish Pretender Rebels. Right off the start in Gotland. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the rivals here. Uh, I like to rival people who rival me, but also the bigger guys, so we're going to go ahead and rival Poland. Yeah, yeah, I guess Poland. They they don't like me. I might as well not like them. Scotland, England, England doesn't mind me actually. At least rival wise, we're gonna rival Scotland too. Let's see if we can get Case England's boots. And Hungary or the Novograd because they're closer. We'll try to get uh, Muscovy and maybe England on our sides. Okay, now that's gone. We've got our rival set. Now England has no negativity towards us. Uh, so we're going to prove relation to them. Let's see if we can get alliance going soon. Uh, free advisors, I'm just going to right click that for now. Let's just dismiss that for now. We don't really need to, to worry about that. You know, I usually don't like to work on any advisors till I'm making enough money, so I'm not going to die. Okay, now let's look at dispute succession. Uh, interesting, you know, England's going to have uh, a choice of team. It's two uh, leaders right away. I'm not going to bother with them. I'm not going to bother anyone. I don't like to bother with uh, forming personal unions or anything too too much. You know, at least I've already started off with one as Denmark, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm pretty powerful at the start. Missions. Let's look at missions here. See the goal right here? Forming Scandinavia. That's the ultimate goal in our lives here. Uh, you know, I'm not the best at working with trade. I usually just sort of let trade flow, you know, go go with the flow. I make most of my money from wars, I find. Uh, we're just going to set it for... Uh, Danish trade for now. We might cancel out later. It's I don't know. Nothing's really super fancy. Uh, at least it gave us claims on provinces that we'd like. Okay. Unless we have what one or two forts. Two forts. One here, which sucks. Uh, we have a trade fleet. We're going to send out a mission to protect trade. Increase that to the we'll do Baltic Sea. Seems the most useful for our job. And I'm going to select the rest of my army, which I can hold nine troops. I don't know if we'll be able to do that even. I'm also going to work on Sweden. And try to make them, I guess, more. Now, I don't know why I have full speed. We're going to set off on two speed for now. And, uh, you know, just work it slowly. Okay, great. We got Hallstein in a royal marriage. Uh, my ship's out here. We're going to change this just to nine troops just for now. Uh, yeah, nine troops. We're going to put them on our ship. Pause it quickly. Put them on a ship with... We'll see if, you know... If we want to do a... Gen we're we're going to recruit a general just because... I don't like to put my leaders in harm's way, but uh, we'll see who plays out with this crappy one-star general. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, just doing that. Uh, we're also going to work on Muscovy. I don't know if we, we shouldn't really worry about them too, too early on. We can also worry about France. France might want to be our friend, but they are rivaling England, so we're going to go after the English. Unless France... Okay, France is rivaling Castile. Austria, Naples, England, and, you know, Burgundy, you know, one way or the other, they're all rivaling each other. So if I ally England, hopefully England doesn't rival Castile, which they do. But hopefully Castile and France... And England and France wage two separate wars, so we can sneak some, you know, some bonus points for ally in, at least. Okay, we got that, please. please. Okay, now we're sending our troops into Godland. Hopefully we can get a win here. Move these three over here just so I can move them closer after. Claims on Neva, Danzig, Lubeck, yep. Ooh, okay, what do we got here? The nobility was not fully subjugated during this age, and the nobles could, the nobles could and did strike independent alliances with foreign princes. The crowns of Europe might not have liked it, but they were normally hard pressed to prevent these kinds of activities. They will pay for the treachery, or we'll deal with them later. Um, you know, what, I like my, I like having prestige, especially when I have like a vassal or people in a union, just in case I need to throw some weight around, kind of thing with. The Union especially, with placating local rulers. So I think we're just going to take the uh, Cassis Valley in Sweden and lose some admin power. Because, I mean, you know, Denmark's usually pretty far ahead in tech. I mean, well, I'm sure we'll stay pretty far ahead. Tech's not really too big of a worry. Now we got to get the ships there ASAP. So we can blockade the rebels. We're making a small income here. We got two forts, I believe. Yep, yeah. one of which is Skane, and that is gone. After that, I think we're gonna just delete a fort because we don't really need it, and I, I don't feel like paying even half of it because you know the goal, in my opinion, is never even getting never getting a fight. But you can't win. Okay, we're gonna attack that. I know we're gonna take some hits, but we need to get the rebels. Actually, let's see what the rebels want first of all. Install this guy to be a feudal monarchy. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really feeling it for them. Uh, we're also going to probably, I think we're going to do support loyalists. It's going to cost us a little bit, but uh, we're going to get them on their, on their good side. I mean, it doesn't cost, it only costs us, you know, 0.74 gold per month, which means most of our income, but, you know, we got a little bit of a float going. Might as well have any excess gold if we don't need it. Yeah, I'm assuming we're going to lose a battle, which we are. And I doubt we can even make it there in time. No idea how the Danes did this. They're playing as an AI. I don't even know how we're going to win this battle, to be honest. But that's, you know, it's, it's okay. Oh, wow, we lost all of our troops. Wow, that was just, just unfortunate. We're going to build a couple more cogs. As long as we blockade them, we'll be able to try again soon. Some more, some more cogs. So we're going to build some troops. Two, three, four, five. We are also going to... Group relations with our uh, vassal Holstein here, and we're gonna take off our support or uh, relation improvement with uh, Sweden. Sorry, because we don't really need that. You know they're improved quite well. We're we're getting to the point where we can almost or we're we're getting somewhere with England at least. Let's just say that we'll, we'll get there soon. Let's play again. Okay. Oh, that's an accident. Okay. No, we're not moving troops anymore. We decided against that. Okay. That's always good. You know, I prefer them forming union because they, I, in my opinion, they tend to not get as big because I don't know they they're sandwiching like a massive Russia and usually Austria and later the Ottomans because the Ottomans usually f Austria or even France. Okay, we got some troops being made here, 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 whatever. I feel like if we go to this personal union, can we not? Four loyalists place for the one throne. We're gonna place relative on throne for Holstein, because I believe that gives us a uh, same same dynasty modifier, so we can annex them closer. So we need to wait ten years to annex them. Might as well keep a relationship there with the Castile firing in Sweden, which doesn't matter. Claims on some provinces: Neva, Danzig, and Lubeck. Lubeck, Lubeck. Where is Lubeck? Lubeck. 
Poland. Was that flags? Oh no, sorry. I'm stores the flags right now. Like Asian and Lubeck. I really don't want to engage with Lubeck. I don't want to engage with anyone in the Holy Roman Empire at the moment. I'm just going to try to focus on uh, just getting my bearings. Uh, I think next thing I'm going to do after that is maybe try to snatch some Novograd territory. Slow Muscovy down because I mean he. You know I want him as an ally, but let's face it, he's going to be our, our enemy one way or another. Build some more troops, another one unit, because we're broke. We're also going to delete this fort. We don't need it. We just do not need it at the time. There's no chance of it in declaring war on us, let's be honest. I mean, Poland's probably going to do their notorious declare war on tectonic order, or maybe even Hungary at some point, but, uh, or, yeah, tectonic and Livonian order, I'm assuming. You know, we have the rebels pinned down there. Should be pretty fine. We're waiting for more ships. It's gonna take uh, more, another couple hundred days. We got time to make troops. I might as well build another one because we're you know going for it. Uh, so the DLC that I do have on that I do that I do remember at the moment is uh, El Dorado, which is on Conquest of Paradise. Uh, some music packs and some other things. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if the game audio is in at the moment. Here, let me just double. Ch let me should pause the game and just double check here. think that is better now. Let's see. No, hold on. Where is it? Did I turn the audio off? Yeah, we leave the audio completely down. Oh my god, much better. Uh, that might be too loud. We're going to turn it down just a smidge more. Audio. And now this first episode here is going to be slightly longer because... It might be slightly longer, just due to the fact that we're getting, we're getting our bearings, you know, we're going to keep it at two speed for now, actually we're up to three speed, you know, let's just get the game moving just a little bit faster. Now that, uh, that one star general that I had, Holger, like, oh, I just bear with me here, Guild in Sturgeon. Uh, you know, I can't even pronounce that. You know, we're, we're gonna leave him as a leader because you know, we wasted 50 military power recruiting him. We're gonna we're gonna make sure he does his job somewhat, even though he's just just, just a terrible, terrible general. Lost the first battle against some crappy rebels. I mean, they're defending and in, in a fort too, but you know, still. Look at the claims there. Ooh, importing naval supplies. Ambitions to improve our nation's navy has recently come to a halt. The Danish shipbuilders don't lack ideas or plans, but supplies. Some of them cannot help but notice, they claim, that our neighbor has an, has an abundance of materials that would be useful in equipping modern navy. We try not to make our fleet dependent on foreign support, but if these policies stand in the way of progress, perhaps we could import just enough to test the new shipbuilding techniques. Okay, we have the option to compromise if it puts plan promotion or ships and for ships from foreign wood I'd be safer if be safer to fashion them from rock. Uh, I mean I, I could use some mercantilism. I think we're gonna do that. You know, just because we don't really need Swiss Sweden's opinion at the moment. But they like us fair enough. You know we're you know supporting loyalists at the moment, which is good enough. And we can hold 12 troops on our navy, or yeah, 12 troops on our navy once it's done in a, in a month, or two months, three months. So we can build another two more troops. Let's group together. We're gonna name this army the uh, the, the the Holger. Well, I can't type today. Let's auto save here. 
Holger Defense Corps, because General Holger will be quite proud. A new heir. You know, Christian sounds like a pretty Danish name. We're going to think we're going to say that, you know. Yeah, Christian's a tree. And I just don't think another fourth there. We actually do not need that. All signs a little buffer zone. Fine. We should be good. Let's just try to pocket some more income so we can get a one more troop. Also, the tip to the Velvet page. Uh, and if anyone's wondering why I have these uh, map modes, or why I have them here, like why I have some ones like Development, Coalition, and Trade Goods, I don't know if people usually have one, but I find that Trade Goods are just useful, just, you know, I, I just like looking at gold whenever I need to find gold, or things that are worth more, like uh, Silk, uh, and anything like that. Mostly just gold, I like to find where my gold is at all times, because uh, I like to, uh, Increase the production and just make tons of gold and inflation, of course. I like coalition map mode because uh, I tend to get in coalition or you know coalitions formed against me quite often. But that's okay as long as you don't push the buttons too much. Remove the uh, three ships there, which you know not in any particular order. Pause game so you the ship. Why you pause it? There, get ready to group up. Get the 19th Navy. We're gonna call it the first fleet. First fleet. Denmark. Yeah. Seems fancy enough to me. Now the HRE. Let's take a look at that. Uh, so I always, I usually hope that Austria doesn't get elected as the emperor. But uh, I think in this game I'm going to try to hope that he does, or if he does, continue to get elected. Yeah, he's pretty far away, there's less chance he'll actually do something against me. See, Brandenburg on the other hand, if he gets elected, that, that won't be fun to me at all. Corps with Holger, uh, Jiden, Sir Jiren, or some whatever his name is. And we're gonna try now. We're, we're blockading this harbor. We should get some sort of bonus from that. We have more troops. We get a general. I mean, we're attacking over a crossing penalty minus two, which is not fun. Ah, uh, it's not looking good so far. I mean, yeah, that was that's the crossing penalty right there. Oh no, nope, no, nope, we're coming back. No, nope, no, it's lost. All is lost again. Hopefully you just don't lose everyone. Hey, thank goodness. Now uh, we're gonna build... Can we build any more ships? No, unfortunately not. We'll put our ships back here so we don't get the, uh... Pain and suffering that we have. Re at least we don't need to reinforce more. You don't suffer casualties, we're paying four extra money. Yeah, we're seeing a small loss. Boy, do I just love the sound. This is, this, this is the reason that I just bought so much DLC. Like, so much music back in this game, like, the sound is just amazing. Uh, no, these are good. Yeah, we're blocked. We're blocked, we're good. Poland, don't like Argon. Wow. Argon, Madiburg. Poland's at war with Tectonic and Lebanon. Okay. Argon. He's allied to France and Austria, which is, you know, pretty common. They're worth... Who's France? I was France. Brand no, Austria's part of the war. France is at war with Brandenburg first. Where is this? Uh, it is East South Luxembourg. Uh, it's a succession war. That's always fun. I mean, see, I don't like to get involved in those things because the big players, Austria, Aragon, Brandenburg's pretty, Brandenburg's pretty strong. Saxony needs to be a little bit big, but Rye's a little big. You know, Bohemia's big too. I like to get involved in those kind of things. Okay. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Is that how it used to be pronounced before? I want to change to Copenhagen. I just could not spell it at the moment. Nope, Iceland. 
Okay, we're still ta we're still taking a little bit of money a month. That's because we're still reinforcing. We fully reinforced in about three four months, which is okay. Take another couple dollar hit. Uh, how are these doing? Paul Sands making us a little bit of income. We'll get a plaque in. We could save anything if we wanted to, but gotta have. Uh, yeah, I don't need money by all any means. We can enforce culture. It's not worth it, in my opinion. It's the next month, and we're gonna launch another attack, I guess. We're actually gaining popular influence a year. It's usually I don't. It's usually I'm just like the worst Christian in the game. You know, usually I don't even like. Usually I can play as Orthodox or um, or Muslims. Sunni. Uh, I like to play as. Shia sometimes, just because she is, or uh, Zoroastrian. I like to play my own little Zoroastrian country, it's, it's, it's fun for me. Okay, now we got 12,000 hoops, let's pause it. They got 10,000 again. I don't know if we want to try that again. I think we're just going to wait. I can hold 11, 11, uh, 11 can still hold it. We'll put it right there, 34, just because. And we're going to work on, wait, let's see who that'll do. Rija, maybe Rija. Can I attack? Can I form a claim on Rija? No. Okay. We can uh, fabricate a claim on. Let's look at the material map. Fabricate a claim on East Frisia. I like to know one. We can fabricate a claim on. So this is going to take some East Frisian land. We'll take all of East Frisia, to be honest. Prestige is barely going up. Uh, legitimacy is going up. The intrusion is wild. The intrusion gives you plus one X. I, I didn't even look at the traits to be honest. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. Let's take another look at England. Uh, they're ready to uh, lower their so they're canceling the relations. Let's join that real quick. Three days, two days. Let's join. First they accepted. And they're, you know, they're not too, too far off from alliance. Well, we're not. I thought that was France. So it's flex. They're on missions to France. It's like, huh? Yeah. That's good. We are back. We're improving relations with England. Uh, we, we can get that max up to 100 or 200. I think it's 200 at the moment. Just because we're friendly with more neutral. They don't, they don't hate us. I think. Please correct me on that. Okay, this is Hallstein. We're gonna stop that for now. We don't need to do that at the moment. I'd rather have one freed up slot. Poland is actually losing t to the Tectonic Order. Wow, I don't know how. In all my hours, and I've put a lot of hours, and I've put like over 600 hours in this game, which is quite a bit. I know I must look like an amateur right now, you guys. But uh, it looks like Poland might lose to the Tectonic Order. It really doesn't really concern me at the moment. I mean, they're a little bit far away. I don't, they're not close enough to affect me. No one really is. I'm sort of secluded. Okay, we got our income back up a bit. Quite a bit. Well, yeah, we're improving relations. We'll maintain. It's only 100, I guess we can get max too. We're improved. improved. Uh, what is this? Okay, Treaty of the Ride. This is a long one, but we're going to read it anyways. I just enjoy these little tidbits here. Yeah. King Christian I of Denmark proclaimed the Treaty of Ribe to a number of Holostinian nobles. Hall Holostation? Holostation? Holostation nobles. Enabling himself to become Count of Holostein and regain control of Denmark's lost duchy of Slesvig. Slesvig? Okay. The Danish duchy of Slesvig and the county of Holostein should now be forever undivided. A clause Pardon me. A clause gave the nobility the right to revolt should the king break the agreement. King Christian I merely added the title as a count. 
as Count of Holstein to his existing title, and the agreement forbade him to annex Holstein to Denmark. Holstein retained its independence and its position as a sub fief of Saxony and subsequently Sal Luxembourg. Sal Lundberg, sorry. The Danish king became Duke of Schleswig, a Danish fief, in effect, becoming his own vassal. This arrangement should be seen as a, as an, a guarantee against too strong Danish domination in the new union, a safeguard against uh, partitioning of Holstein among Danish nobles. Okay. Claim Schleswig as Holstein or relinquish to claim Austria, Holstein. Denmark needs a claim. I don't really need a claim, to be honest. I lose prestige. Uh. I think we're gonna do that just because I'll get the prestige hip and Holstein will like me more and like they'll keep us friendlier so I don't have to do any improved relations for a while. So by the year, so in six years, because at 1554 I can annex him. 1454, sorry, January 1st. I can annex him. And then I won't be a problem anymore. And that, those claims are for nothing because I'm not going to attack him. Okay, Novogard can't be my rival anymore. But must be, be my ally, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're pretty close to being allies, so we're going to start improving relations there. Okay, let's look at the them. Well, it looks like we're not we're just not close enough to reach them already. English already has powerful allies. It's part of the reason their navy strength. My navy strength is not big enough. What? My navy is quite large. I could get more troops, I guess. Okay. Oh, East Frisia's at war with someone. I just saw that. Yeah, East Frisia is at war with Allied Galair, which doesn't really matter. They're at war with Odenberg and Verden. 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 I don't know how we're gonna get to there. We're gonna do some lots of uh, requesting military access. We'll, we'll take a little bit of uh, administer, administrative or diplomacy hit, yeah. Diplomacy hit when that time comes. Okay. And these rebels, I, they're one stubborn bunch. They're never gonna get their uh, Eric Griff. Griff, is that how you pronounce it? Eric the first Griff, you're not getting installed. Yeah, but we're here just gonna die at some point. Okay. That's what are you up to? Nothing. We're great. Austria, bigger players. They're still slowly, slightly losing the war. Yeah, they're probably gonna lose. Vandenberg's losing against. Yeah, Vandenberg wants to be my friend, but I think. Well. Ah, uh, I don't know if I want to ally you at the moment. I have to go. I could go for the big powers for later. These creatures, the numbers are done. I kind of hope these creatures wins. But not my concern, I guess not yet. I mean, not until we're at war with them in several months. What two more months, I believe. Okay, what else can we just go to here? How close we to tech? Picking up halfway, halfway ish. 1452, okay, four years, not bad. We'll assume that. 1454, six years. Four years, six years, and six years ish, give or take. I can also. Hmm, that's pretty. That's new, the Count's Feud. Okay, so. I mean, I was planning on becoming Protestant at some point. I'll have to do it when I'm small still, before I annex, or before I try to integrate anyone, which is going to be tough integrating them. Just wait a long time, in 1494, it's a while. That's a while. It won't be for a while, guys, don't worry. Uh, I always do this. I didn't want to read that one, it's just, I've seen it one too many times. It wasn't as fun. Basically, we just got more military power at the cost of some money, some gold, that we do not necessarily need. It's not involved in anything. England's not involved in anything. We're sort of far off. But it seems we have reached enough to fabricate a claim against Ostfriesland. Ost I, ca I, I can't pronounce that. We're going to stop fabricating a claim and we are going to declare war in four days. Okay, uh, we're going to declare war. So 
they're gonna call it Glare or Galarur or whatever that's called in the language. The comment of the world's okay. And before I start the war, I think we're gonna make a cut there. So uh, please tune in next time, and we'll uh, we'll take down Geller and his friend East Frisia.